ACC battle with North Carolina State and Duke. Kevin Harlan, Bill Raftery just underway as Jabari Parker is at the free throw line moments ago, followed by Kyle Washington, a freshman for the Wolfpack. Bill, Duke comes in 2-2 two and two in conference play. The Wolfpack at 1-3. and three. And Duke trying to find themselves, really. I mean, defense has been solid. Going to Parker very early. Full court pressure, trying to stimulate some offense and take away the bigs. That's a turnover. For those of you who want to see the conclusion of Tennessee and Kentucky, you can now watch live at CBSSports.com. A lot of motion of late, trying to keep people moving, find spots on the floor for Parker. Parker again, this time taking it in. Washington knocks it away. Vandenberg brings it up, and here it comes. Cat Barber finding Desmond Lee and broken up by Jabari Parker. Yeah, was a great hustle, wasn't it? Mm, yeah, it was. Yeah, rim to rim. Got, him, got himself up and down. Well, coming in, the Blue Devils have won two of three in three of their last five. North Carolina State has lost three of their last four games. They thought they found themselves at ND. And struggling late, up and down is what Mark Gottfried said. They were good in that game. Here's a shot by the top scorer in the ACC. That's T.J. Warren. Out of bounds. New shot clock at the rim. T.J. loves the offense. He does. Not afraid <laughs> to attack that rim. Duke had the nice win over Virginia here back on Monday. And kind of a watershed moment. If you talk to some of the people around the program, they felt that that meant a lot in so many ways to this team. Psychologically found themselves and Mike alluded to how good Virginia was. Yes. Yeah. Barber working on Quinn Cook. Screen by Vandenberg. That means some room for Washington to flourish. How about that? Going back to his right side. Nice penetration by the big guy. So Duke is coming off that win of five Monday over Virginia. North Carolina State lost to Wake Forest Wednesday by a point. They played much better than they played the game before. Where they lost handily to Virginia. They shot outside by Cook. Ooh, Lee and a foul. That will go on the freshman, Matt Jones, from DeSoto, Texas. Uh, take advantage of the minutes. McDonald's All-American and all out. And this is Duke style of basketball. You got to compete against them. All those long rebounds on threes. Duke is very good at finding the open shooter, so you've got to chase. Mike Krzyzewski said he wanted more fight, more intensity mm -hmm. with his players. I guess evidence right there. Now, you notice the last few games, the line changes and trying to search and find guys who want to give it all. Cat Barber, he's a freshman. Mm -hmm. Quinn Cook is in there, but it was on Barber, or is it on Cook? Cook, Cook, Cook with a little nickel dimer. Cook will pick it up. And that's that look. Intimidating officials. I could go back to Frank McGuire had a great way. Dean Smith had a quiet way. Mike too just has the look and can't blame him on that one. Ooh, and Cook getting in the way again. He's feisty. And, and they're really denying every place and doing a great job. You gotta set your man up. The screener has to step back to the ball. Cook the junior, Barber the freshman. Now this is the pressure that Mike likes from his team. Takes away the inside game. Warren again. Great floater though. Got it offensively, and he traveled. Wipe it away. He really is tough in that lane. Got a great feel for the release point, the time of it. Who comes in as the top scoring team in the ACC? Second best shooting team in the conference. Good. <laughs> <laughs> nice move inside, working on T.J. Warren. Uh, putting it down so effectively all year. Sets up that outside game. Barber lost the ball. Cook knocked it away. Washington vacuums it in. He meets the defense of Jabari Parker. Got to be a little more patient. Now, that's one. I thought that was a clean play, too. And Parker gets the foul. This kid can go either way, explode, has a middle game. What an addition. Mike saying he got the ball. So Kentucky holds on to win, and they beat their rival in the Southeastern Conference, Tennessee, in a game at Ruck. That's Washington at the free throw line. He's from Champlin, Minnesota. He is a, well now at the free throw line, 9-13 this season.
He's not gotten there that much, but he has started the last four games, including today. Nice looking player. Posts up, can finish, runs the floor. He gets steps again. Holding the ground and walling up is what coaches call it. Put that belly in there. <laughs> A belly bump. So, so far, North Carolina State with three turnovers early and not even three minutes gone. Here's Hood. So good at beating you with the dribble. Uses screens well. Look at drive, draw, kick, open look. Mark it there. And Duke has got the lead. Well, Cook at 35% from three. Pretty easy. You put it on the shelf like that. Good spin move by Barber. Off of North Carolina State. Got the line change coming, Kevin. Get your cue cards out. Mass substitution. They started this against Virginia. And a timeout taken. Well, they are deep, no question about it. A lot of great perimeter players. I thought they were going to take a break. They did not. Uh, Mark Godfrey a little bit upset, too. Coach is in the game early. I think you have to match Mike Krzyzewski when you're in this building, too. You know, let the officials know you're in the game. That's a tall order. Yep. I didn't say in the one loss column. Woo! Talk about that. He is unerring from deep. Andre Dawkins. They say getting the rust off. That didn't look rusty. No, no. It's an 8-0 run by Duke. This is where you need composure. Use a little more clock unless something like this shows. They, that was bad. I thought they were in there late on the step in. May have been off the fingertips of Tyler Thornton. And off of Duke. Harrison with a good read. Yep. Got away with it. Welcome you to Durham, North Carolina, the campus of Duke University. And we present North Carolina State against 23rd ranked Duke, Kevin Harlan, Bill Raftery. Early going here. With a shout out zone to the freshman, Cap Barber. North Carolina State, here's the top scorer. Who feeds inside to the freshman, Washington. And it bounces back up and in as North Carolina State comes in 11-6, 1-3. Number nine in the ECC and Bill Duke. As we welcome the rest of the country here to Durham, 2-2, two and two, seventh, uncharacteristically in the ACC. Yeah, yeah, uh, Rocky start, nice penetration, you're great at putting on the deck and finishing. And Vandenberg, I think, got the tip in at the other end. Too frenzied here, I think, by State. That's T.J. Warren, the top scorer in the ACC, putting it in. He's ninth nationally, and he brings the Wolf back to within three. Now, they want to attack, but I think you've got some sensibility about it. Duke unbeaten at home, 10-0. They won two of their last three overall. Ooh, picked up by Warren, and he'll come racing the other way. Ooh, silly foul, really. That's an effort play that you just let go. Don't pick up. Stadium. Now, all the talk about Parker, is he slowing down a little bit? Has he met that freshman wall? Now, I think they're going to try and do a lot more things for him. Isolate, uh, get him in motion, get him to spots that he's comfortable. The terrific talent in the meantime, Hood has been just magnificent when you think of it. In, out, off the deck. Here's Hood right here. He is the transfer from Mississippi State. There's Jabari Parker. Let one fly. And Desmond Lee was fighting in there with Cat Barber. And here comes the Wolfpack. Losing three of the last four. Four of the six coming off the loss Wednesday at Wake Forest, 70 to 69. Nice denial. Hold on. Parker. <laughs> the Denison's up early and that sets the tone exactly what Mike Krzyzewski told both of us try and take a pressure off the inside people by defending on the perimeter nice pass oh take it Lee had it knocked away by the freshman Jones Cook the other way defense back by Barber good hustle Vandenberg both ends and Barber is defending here we are three on two in T.J. Warren with the freshman Washington, Cook's doing one up. Nice. Run to the rim, in the right spot. And normally, the ability to knock those shots down. Mm. Warren, a couple of opportunities in that lane. North Carolina State led early by three. Duke has led by as many as five. Nice. That was good play inside. That's the freshman from Texas, DeSoto, Texas, Matt Jones, making his second career start this afternoon. He's not another, just another Jones. He's no. a McDonald's All-American. 
He had 23 points against Jabari in high school and beat them with his high school team. Pretty good reserve when you think of it. But the denial, the aggressive play, and early send it in, big fella, with Kevin Hoffman. Early at Cameron Indoor Stadium, it was a win for Duke over Virginia here on Monday by five, and they feel that was a kind of a far-reaching win for this team. Confidence builder. Ooh, they've got some, been up and down a little bit. Clemson played very well, though, in that game. A little more speed now. Tyler Lewis is losing the game. Washington again. Kanye, he can load up with the best of them, the big fella. Can't get him enough minutes. Really been taking weight off. Uh, they feel another year, year and a half, he's going to be some. He carves out area, gets good offensive rebounding position. He's 325. He takes a lot of space. He's right now watching Emil Jefferson. And Jefferson, the dribble driver, or gets a handoff. Nice control there. You can see what Mike's trying to do. Iso, nice hustle defensively. What else can Hood do? Mm. Duke, the number one offensive team in the ACC. Number two in shooting. Number one in three-point shooting. But defense has been an issue. It's a cross screen and open look for Hood. Quinn Cook. Mm. Light it up. You really got to work to get free. Set your man up. Look at this denial. That's exactly what Duke does beautifully. Jones with the overload, something Mike's been doing for years. 34 years to be exact here at Duke. And Mark Godfrey's on the other side. He has recruited so well. They have now a roster with all kinds of McDonald's yeah. kids and they're all He's, Americans from high school. He's really happy with the program down there. Loves living in the area. A couple of straight NCAAs. Came from Alabama where he played. Before that, he was a head coach at Murray State. And before that, an assistant at UCLA. When they won, Lewis. Yes, they when they won. 95. Jim Harrick. T.J. Warren. This kid. Good looking shot again by the top scorer in the conference. How much can he do? Tough out. Not a great deep shooter at 21%. Begin by you. He had 22 the other night against Wake Forest. He's ninth nationally. Is T.J. Warren. Here, Jefferson's pretty good rebound on the offside. Parker whacked inside and fouled. Well, they put him in a few spots, haven't they? Mm. Load up on the post, yeah. Close, close. Yeah, exactly. Get him on the board. Get him some confidence. But here, stretch it to D. Nylon early for Carolina State. Free and also the early offense with the three, the screen and pop. Just so tough. You got to run back, get set, and get out on the wings. It's Jabari Parker at the free throw line. The freshman from Chicago, Simeon, leads Duke in points and rebounding and block shots. And it was well chronicled. He had seven consecutive 20-point games to open his college basketball career. But that seems like a lifetime ago because recently he has been staggering a bit, at least statistically. Well, you, as you well know, because we chatted about it, you get into conference play, the preparation's a little totally different. They're ready for him. You can see guys scout, take away his strength, cause him to do some other things he's uncomfortable with, but everything has dropped. But I would suggest it will turn because Mike and his observations to us was about moving him to different areas, find out the sweet spot, also to get him emotional and more. He's usually able to just control anybody he's played against. Some people have suggested a freshman wall. Well, I don't know about that. Look at that body. I hit the wall early in my kindergarten career. <laughs> well, against Virginia, Duke went 10 deep. Nine players playing at least 10. Here's her second unit out on the floor. Mass substitutions outside T.J. Warren with the rebound by Tyler Thornton to Duke. You can see Warren's got the green light. Thinks offense. Uh, here is Suleiman. Boy, he had a nice game-winning shot. Three against... The Cavaliers he's, on Monday here. He's played well of late. Yes. He can beat you with the dribble or out. I think people see, thought they were going to see some more offense from him this year, but he had the 21. They'll be getting him trapped the drive. Got to bounce. Stepped out of bounds. Boy, you can see they scout. Get up on the shooter. Catch. 
Sunday, January 26th. Don't miss live performances you won't see anywhere else by Katy Perry, Robin Thicke, Lord, and many more on music's biggest night. The Grammy Awards, LL Cool J will host Sunday, January 26th, only CBS. This is Weston Turner. You can see LSU transfer. You can see right up on him on the catch. They are not afraid to push it up the floor and take that open look. Set play with a lock low. Like we talked about earlier, both teams have struggled defensively this season. Mm -hmm. And he's probably on the floor now. See if he can do some damage in the box area. Suleiman got up in the air and he traveled. And that's one thing coaches tell you not to do. Don't get off your feet. Major mistake for a talent. You can see Mike trying to extend the floor every opportunity that he has. See if he can force some quick early checks. So again, the mass substitution, something that was instituted on Monday. Plus, they were talking about more, and you mentioned this earlier, more motion in their offense, more passing. Well, he feels he's very deep and talented, particularly on the perimeter. And I would think day-to-day -day somebody looks better in practice. Here comes Cat Barber and McDonald's All-American from Hampton, Virginia. Mm. Washington. Got to make that cat on the loose. Nice look by the little guy. Good. Early. Good for three. Offense. Murder. You got to get back and out. In some cases, you got to get out before you get back. In conference play, Rodney Hood is the leading three-point shooter and the leading scorer in conference play only. And as he says, that's what matters here at Duke. And out of bounds, it's off of the Blue Devils. Now, they're trying to run that UCLA offense, but the ability to get down the floor early and just see no attention paid to detail. you got to get out of here. This kid is too good. That old southpaw like honey on the delivery. Tough. In backcourt, and Barber lost the ball. He tried to knock it off a hook, and he missed him. And that's all Cook. Denial on the ball on the inbounder, but everybody else doing a great job in position. They're just big on the ball, deny in the backcourt. North Carolina State normally averages about 11 turnovers a game, Bill. They've got eight already, eight of them. Yeah, and I think the defense is hepped up here, don't you? Yeah. The Duke's playing a lot more aggressively than I've seen them. Good, picked up by Turner. It's Quinn Cook for three. Nice, they tell you, he does a great job rebounding Jefferson. Talking to three. Off of Plumley, saved out of bounds, off of North Carolina State. Halfway through the first half tomorrow, 1 p.m. Eastern. Get an exclusive look at the playoffs and the path for the four teams and the trail they rode on their way to the NFL Championship. Chase presents all of this Mercedes-Benz in the NFL Championship Chase on CBS tomorrow. Be a great day, huh? He is really, I think he's rounded his game much more than just a, a shooter. I say just a pretty face. Puts it on the deck as well. Senior from Chesapeake, Virginia. Desmond Lee, the junior college transfer. And Washington again. Vandenberg from Australia. Getting in the right spot. He was. He's down under. He's comfortable. <laughs> North Carolina State is led by as many as three. Duke has been up by as many as eight. Again, it's had a couple times. Good to Cook. Screen by Plumley. Plumley's got to get to the rim, though. Quicker. Yep, roll. Cook for three. Inside out. Ball movement, unselfish play. Cook's got eight points. He averages 13. We talked about inside game, but not on the catch at all, Kevin. It's all been dribble drive. It's Barber. He puts it in. It's this kid, this Cat Barber, broke all of Allen Iverson's high school records in scoring and otherwise in Hampton High School basketball. He's quick, but I don't think he's Iverson quick, do you? No, not quite. But he's Cat quick, as you said. Mm -hmm. Sister gave him that name when he was an infant. Andre Dawkins. They don't look at a plumbly at all. This is what they like. Refusal. Oh, going in. Washington got in the way. Boy, they've thrown some dangerous passes, State. 
Barber, 26 miles away from the North Carolina State campus. Barber with the slashing move. It's Plumley right there with the rebound. I think I'd like to see him use Vandenberg a little bit more. Yeah, Thus, we may see Plumley a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Jefferson really won't make some offensive moves unless necessary. Good on the catch off drives. Little nickel diver. 7.51 in the first half at Cameron Indoor. And the Devils by seven. Third year. And again, multiple substitutions out there for the Blue Devils. Josh Hairston now comes out. Here's Suleiman back in the game. Jabari Parker. Mm, tough to cover that corner. Dribble drive right. Space out in the left corner. Great acknowledgement. He's got a game high eight. Rebounding has been an interesting story so far. As North Carolina State leads Duke in that category, 17 to 8. Well, I've seen them play about six games, Duke. I think they're really on top of their defensive maneuvers here. There's a nice step in. Boy, they are going to drive it to the well. Outside the restraining area, but this is where your top guard has to come down and cover. And Parker, what wall? In the ACC, he's only been shooting 30%, Jabari Parker. He's a four-time Illinois State high school basketball champion. Four times he won the state title. Incredible. Amazing. Great genes, too. Yeah, dead sunny. You probably announced some of his games, I yeah. would think, right? He played six years in the league. Parker again. Nice point. He can handle. That's what makes him tough. Inside now and strength at the rim. Uh -oh. Going in right there. Vandenberg with a little reach instead of stepping over. Reaching in, picks it up. Monday on CBS, the action drama gets an upgrade. Josh Holloway stars in the new thriller, Intelligence. Catch a new episode Monday at 10, 9 Central, only CBS. Parker at the line, third leading score in conference play so far. Hey Kevin, all this talk about what point of the season is he at, one thing he has going, he competes. You talk to anybody involved in the program, not only is he talented, but it's the preparation against him. He's such a triple threat guy. He loves the game. That's a great point, though, because the scouting reports are out there on him now that he's had a body of work. No, it was, it, exactly. He really understands it. I think it's all about doing it every trip, understanding how tough it is and how people are going to prepare for you. But what better coach and staff well, than here. to take care of that? Absolutely. Duke on a 14-4 run. Six and a half to play in the half. No touches on the box other than the dribble. Shot clock is at seven. Barber, Washington. Boy, he really bailed them out, didn't he? Didn't count the house. 32 into the lane. He now has a Kyle Washington. Barber could have got away with a little something on that dribble. Stepped out. I see the nice job here with the little ball screen and just rolling to the rim. And this is what you got to do be busy. Don't just stand still. Got to help your partner out. On the fly, that play was. Talking to Mike Krzyzewski before the game, and he talked about this earlier. A very young team. One of the youngest, in fact, that he's worked with recently. Ever, he said, I thought. Good. Yeah. And that guy is amazing how he can just use both hands. Here we go. Parker. How about oh, him? Well, he is aggressive with his team this afternoon. Don't get mad at me. LeBron-like when he goes to the rim. I'm not saying he's LeBron, but he is a tank as he approaches that three-second area. Aggressive in nature, great body, willing to take a hit and dispense some as well. You know, we're, we're going to start Wiggins at Kansas. This kid, we saw Julius Randle last week and earlier today on CBS with Kentucky. When he shoots now, and I'm not saying he's like this guy, but when he, if you watch his feet, where he kind of kicks him up a little bit like Kobe. You know, really? when, when he not, when he watches four. Well, they all watch the NBA guys. No. And they do pick up things from them. <laughs> Hopefully all good. Yeah. But here, look, at in, in one segment, we've talked about LeBron and Kobe with this kid. That's where we're reaching, certainly. But the thought is there that he was as highly ranked as any kid coming out of 
high school basketball a season ago. I think mean, you just like to let them play and yes. enjoy it. You know, exactly. we generally have too much to say. Ooh, look at this defense. Three quarter again. We're looking to get out and run. Seal it off. An open lane and outside. Parker! The Rivers. The knockout. Now this game is slipping. Never had composure. Here's another ooh, almost another turnover on Barber. The point of attack, Quinn, Cook, put them in the furnace, but Suleiman, the find. And how about this? Ring of the bell. Parker, bring the house down. Indoor. Starts Monday at 8, 7 Central. Only CBS. The turnovers have been grabbed by Duke, and look at the results. Incredible. This, they come after you. Their game is all about aggressive at the point of attack, then eye on the wings, and contain the bounce. Parker's got the 13 points to lead all scores. There's a foul going on Hood. Rodney Hood out of Meridian, Mississippi. One of the few transfers that mm. Krzyzewski has brought into the program. I, I never got calls like that. <laughs> transfers I had. Fourth player, fourth player. Transfer to Duke under Mike Krzyzewski. Sean McLeod comes to yes, mind. Yes, he right? did. Yeah, right, exactly. Amongst many. There are others. Seth Curry. Yeah. He had a pretty good one. How about that family? Who's the best shooter in that family? I still like Dan. I, I like Dell. <laughs> Turner. And I like Turner, too, mixing it up off the dribble, known as a catch and deliver. As Bill said, Ralston Turner is a transfer from LSU. Leonard Freeman not playing today. The freshman from Washington, D.C. for the Wolfpack as an call by spring. And that hurts the rotation, no question about it. I just think it's the speed. What do you can't leave him? He's such a good shooter, the potential of tipping is there on each release. Well, he's probably the most complete player so far for two. Barber floats. Ooh. Cutting. <laughs> Trims his way in. Exactly. I like it. We got them all. <laughs> Leave a tip on the way out. <laughs> This is where they got to get control of the North Carolina State. Suleiman, sophomore from Houston. I steal. Barber is a good on ball defender. And he comes the other way. They got a three on good. Two. A nice find. A I, nice I, find. And he goes inside. Ralston Turner cleans it up. I, I didn't think he saw him for a minute there. He wide open. But Turner, the speed to cover. And Barber. Getting right into the lane. Solid performance. Who's next? You don't miss Boomer and Carton. Weekday morning starting at 6 Eastern on CBS Sports Network. The 24-hour home of CBS Sports. Yeah, I played golf with both of those guys. Yeah. Carton's course demeanor leads a lot to be lacked. <laughs> a lot of lacks a lot, I should say. Pinch post set play. Dribble exchange. Screen by Plumley. Dawkins a three. That's where they're tough, the offensive rebound. Oh, what a steal! Dawkins the triple! Vandenberg knocked out of his hands by Thornton. Oof, the hands active, nothing easy against Duke. Jeff Davis getting you caught up on what's going on in college basketball today. Plus, they'll preview the final game of our great triple header between Oklahoma State and KU. Coming up on the AT&T at the half, a look at the 41st president of the U.S., George H.W. Bush, in attendance here for the game today, on hand to recognize head coach Mike Krzyzewski for his commitment and leadership in working toward eliminating cancer as a public health threat. He's the first sitting president or former president ever to watch a game inside Cameron Indoor. How about that? Yeah. Nice little note. We've seen him in a lot of the golf tournaments. He and Jim Nance are great pals. They sure are. Yeah, I'll tell you what, if you watch Duke in the first couple ACC games, they're a different team now. I mean, they're, they're, they look different. I, I think the fire has been stoked, though. I think mm -hmm. what, you know, just visiting with Mike today, the intensity level, I'm sure, has been ratcheted up at practice. You mentioned the line changes, looking for everybody to be a, in perfect condition at all times, every trip all out. He says play with heart. I want to yeah. fight. I want to play with heart. And as you know, it's been tough for Mike, too. He lost yeah. his brother, Bill, said he was his hero. And he said he's not, not, nothing like his brother. Very, very heartbreaking when you listen to him. His hero, he said, I'm nothing like my brother. My brother was the best. So he's coaching with a heavy heart. And 
His brother Bill died just after Christmas. He was 71, and Mike said, I haven't been at my best since Christmas, understandably so. His dad died when he was a young man, Mike did, and so the older brother became not only an older brother as he was, but almost like a father figure. Yeah, and I met Bill a few times, one of them when they honored Coach K. Court here. Mm. Uh, so uh, he said it was such an impressive ceremony and service. The respect he has for the Chicago Fire Department is extraordinary. So God offense, bless him. Offensive foul going on Plumley. Here we go the other way and a quick turnover again. Dunn loses it. He'll send it the other way to the Wolfpack in North Carolina State. A team that is young, much like Duke. A team that is recruiting very well. They've been to the last two mm -hmm. NCAA tournaments. Hey, Mark, Mark knows what he's doing, no question about it. It's just getting control of this game for North Carolina State. I, the speed of it has accelerated some of their thought process and uh, caused some problems with turnovers. Parker back in the game for Duke with Thornton. Jefferson is out there. Quinn Cook. Hood. That's the Duke five. Here comes Tyler Lewis. He's a McDonald's kid. He's a sophomore. Here's Kent Barber. Rebound climbing the lane with Jefferson coming off his first career double-double on Monday against Virginia. Uh, he was big time coming down the stretch making free throws. Look at this kid come at you. Parker and up again. Ooh, took one across the chops and down awkwardly in Vandenberg. Well, he's not happy because he feels guys aren't helping on the glass, but pretty good shake and maneuver and the ability and strength because of that wide body to dominate. So we got Parker at the free throw line. Teams have been trying to figure out how to defend him, so sometimes they put bigger guys on him. We just saw Vandenberg mm -hmm. put a bigger guy on him. And then they move him out. Exactly. That's the problem, yeah, right? Exactly. And then Duke has used him as a decoy to open up things for other players, but now they find that just give him the ball and let him go. Well, and, and part of it, too, is fun when he gets the basketball, who he, you know, the timing of it, who's on him, and delivering it at the moment. B.J. Anya checks in. There he is right there with the ball. He's a freshman. He has got a 7-9 arm spin. 7-9. Mm. Covers the baseline. It's the biggest, they think, in college basketball. Well, we could use him at dinner. Pick it up. <laughs> Jefferson with a quick feet pass. And Duke has gone up by 10. And you know what that was all about. The scatter report. Run the floor. Anya can't keep up with you. Jefferson, wire to wire. Two points off turnovers. Warren from outside Washington. Those long arms vacuuming in that ball. Oh, nice hands. I didn't thought he had one. Good. The other end was all set up by the hands of Thornton. See the hurry they're playing at? Uh, not, not good right now. Hood sent out last season due to NCAA transfer rules as he came from Mississippi State. And in the state of Mississippi, Rodney Hood was terrific. Yeah, just look at the hands right here. Question about it. And just getting organized at the other end. Just a step through. Simple basketball. Outnumbered. Anya can't get back. And we mentioned earlier, adept going either way. So with the free throw line is T.J. Warren, a sophomore from right here in Durham. He played in prep school ball up in New Hampshire at Brewster. His dad played for North Carolina State back in the late 70s under Norm Sloan. Mm -hmm. Tony. We got that championship a few years ago. said of T.J. Warren, he's as good as anyone I've ever coached. Mm. He attacks, though. Great offensive mentality. Cook weaving. Jefferson couldn't get it. Cook does. Parker! Mm. Quicker oh, to the ball. It. Excuse me. It was outside. It was Thornton who hit that shot. Seven. Quicker to the ball, Kev. They need to score and a stop. There you go. They're getting a defensive stance. Well, he does play some offense, though. He does. A little activity. Lost some weight. Pretty good runner in traffic. Warren now has 12. Final seconds here in the first half. You want all your guys to rebound in the red shirts now. They got time. 
Got a push. They might have a chance here. Let's see what Barber does with it on the move. But if it goes, and he can't get it to fall, and that takes us to the break with Duke on top by 13 points. That's the end of the first half. Jabari Parker putting on a show, and Duke is in control at halftime. We send you to Greg Gumbo in New York with the AT&T at the half after these messages on CBS. Let's now take a look at the Mercedes-Benz first-half stance. I don't know if the three points, what stands out there? There's so many big numbers. Well, you had mentioned, I, I just think points with turnovers is big. The aggressive defense setting a lot of that up. So composure necessary for a statement. How about ringing a bell? This is what you like. Oh, no. Jacking from deep. Stroking. A lot of these are off turnovers. Offensive rebound. Kick out. Under the hood. Everything. Herculating around the horn. Dawkins, you name it. They've been banging those threes. One thing about the ACC, it has changed face. We've added some new members. Now it's a stronger, deeper oh. conference, as difficult as you're going to find. Uh, it's as tough as there is, yeah. I think. Night, night out. Devastating. Here we go, starting the second half. Duke and State. Wolfpack pack of blood by his veins. Three. That was very early. Duke's lead, 15 points at one time. Got a couple ties. One lead change. Ooh, a touch on the box. This is what the plan was. Washington. Parker got it. Shove and a foul. State's high in turnovers this season. 16, Bill. They've already got 15. Mm. Got to get attempts, particularly against Duke. Opens up the floor for them. Make them play some half court. Wynn Cook's got the ball. Parker's out there. Hood. Neil Jefferson. And the fifth starters, Matt Jones, a freshman inside Parker. Yeah. Okay, they got it. I thought Vandenberg just flipped it out. Yeah, they do change it. He was that's the right call. Vandenberg, Washington. Here we go. As you watch him inside. You gotta grab that opportunity. Don't give them second chances. The thing on Hood at the other end, I think you've got to trap him a little bit. Don't you on the ball screens? He's too good. I look, agree. Look at this commotion help. I mean, he's the most complete player Duke has right now. Uh, right he, now. He is a high-level performer. A little strip in the right spot. He's great size. You know, standing down the floor before the game, a legit 6-7, maybe a little more. Barker lost the ball, now they got a free ride with Cook. Ooh. It's the third turnover by Barber. Not dying in the ball. He and Lee struggling. Six between them. Desmond Lee. The shot clock down 19. It is a buzzsaw when you come in here. It is. It's easy to lose your composure. Shot clock didn't start. It was at 19. Now they got it all. You can feel the pressure, though, when you come in here. You're working with Bob Mosbach, you know, or producer. It's not easy. We're under the gun from the get-go. The operative board's not easy. Mm -hmm. Look at this pressure causing a timeout. Everybody asleep at the other end. One guard, not enough. Quick look at the at and fast analysis. You know, I talked about the defense, the strip here in the back, just great anticipation. Now look at all the people ready to go. Fill the lane, just terrific opportunity. And you're feeding this talented defensive team on runouts and finishes at the rim. And why not a resounding by Parker. Tyler Lewis, Desmond Lee, Vandenberg, Washington, TJ Warren are the five out there for state. And Parker doing a real nice job with his footwork on the post defense against a bigger guy. This is all part of the learning deal. Playing bigger. Lewis. Nice hesitation. Good to see him here, right? Yesterday, uh, Bob Monsbach was there earlier, said he was not healthy at practice. A little flu -y. Had flu like symptoms in the Wake Forest game the other night. Jefferson, 10 and 15 against Virginia on Monday. Nice play. Oh, good coverage, though. Lewis Cook is there. A little twist around the floor. A little tie up. Ooh. 
Now Warren on that last play was really heads up on the lob. Great attention to detail. And right here you talked a little bit about Lewis with that hesitation in here. Misuse of the bounce at this level. You're going to pay for it. Won't back now. 17 turnovers. That's the new season high. Ooh. We've got 18 minutes to go. Same play, ball screen, empty side, roll by Jefferson. Parker screen, cook the drive. Jefferson and Parker will launch a three. Mm. Wow. So much to cover. He's got the stroke. And Jefferson does not make mistakes. That's why he's in that lineup. Doesn't force the issue, end up with a clean look. Parker's nailed a couple triples. 17 for the game. Nothing easy. Great hands. Lee. Contorts. Good Good. Numbers. Yeah, here comes Cook. Oh, here comes Parker. But some wind that time, and that kind of knocked him astray. He's pushed. Parker saying he was airborne and pushed while in flight. And yeah, he was right. Terrific pass to gate it. The only way you can stop and grab a hold. I don't recall a season. Any more so than how much talk there's been about freshmen in this college game this year. And individually, too. There's a good runner inside. As by a sophomore a transfer, Rodney Hood, putting it in. But that's been one of the themes of this college basketball season, these great freshmen. You're right, no question about it. Of course, Doug McDermott not doing a bad job as a senior. Senior of the team, yeah. You got it. You got it in a couple days. Yeah, next week. Seems to ring the bell pretty good when I've seen him. Coached by his dad up in Omaha as Warren was taking it in and felt some shoving. We'll look at Mike Krzyzewski. And that's the way this ACC looks right now. Hard to believe Duke and some of those others. Look at North Carolina. Duke. Yeah. <laughs> How would you like to wake up in the morning saying you're in this league coach? And look, at, look at all those names wow. and talented programs. And you're right, Carolina up and down. Good some days, not so good. Others today took care of BC, but it's not over yet. No, no. There's a lot of basketball. Suleiman and Plumley will check in. Jefferson will sit. Hood will sit. Got to take advantage of the freebies. Clock stop. Duke has won 26 consecutive home games. Ties with the longest active home court winning streak in the country right now. Suleiman. Parker. Pass by Suleiman. A 7 nothing run by the Devils. And you heard Mike Krzyzewski say... He's got to learn how to get to open spots, and yeah. Parker certainly did that trip. Hidden on the short corner, the long corner. Well, you talked about his footwork, and it's good. Ooh. Lewis, hard shot, two Blue Devils in his face. Somebody's got to step up right now, and this is, this is the end where State's got to state their case. Get down and dirty. Rashid Suleiman. Lewis pushing ahead. Here comes Warren. Nice. Oh, had a chance as they did a little move on that baseline by Suleiman, and he finds a quick deuce. Yeah, Suleiman gambled, sold out, and the ability to get to the rim. Warren with 14. Good zone look right now. Three-point shot won't go from Jones. Picked up by Parker. Speed. You've got to come up with those if they're the guard. Anything long like that in the lane, red shirt's got to gather. Parker incredibly engaged on both ends, it seems. Bertley, you know what? I think in some ways all these people say negative things. Oh, there he is again. Vacuuming it in. Up and out. That would have brought the house down. That would have. That would have been some kind of shot. Good call. He is engaged. He's more than that. He's married to this game. CBS Sports coverage of NCAA Midland. Atlanta for Duke is his freshman out of Chicago, Jabari Parker. No, what a talent. No question about it. And uh, maybe some of the negative thoughts or publicity uh, just very much involved and aggressive playing. Terrific. Thing. I think it starts with Duke. If you play good D, good things seem to happen for you. Barber back on the floor, maybe calm down a little bit. Of course, we can look at Tyler Lewis and McDonald's all over and did a real solid job. So this is a good chance for him to get his composure. That's a good point. Catch his breath. Mm-hmm. Warren Ooh, tripped him. 
He's in there trying to make a move, and Thornton was there fighting the dirt. Let's hope he's all right, by the way, Kevin. He went down. He did. He turned his foot on an opponent's foot. Hazardous in that lane. Oh, yeah. oh boy, You're did right, he left, really turn it. No question foot. about it. Good strength to the rim. He is fond of that three-second area. When you think about these great high school players, Bill, that come into the college game, especially notable programs like these two certainly do. They've had the AAU coaching, they've had the high school coaching, now they've got a third level of coaching. I mean, it's kind of interesting the way you see these kids mature and go from level to level to the next. Well, Mike was saying that you can be good in high school yeah. or great, and come to college, it's a different set of circumstances. It's a learning process, what's expected of you on a consistent basis. Some kids aren't prepared for that. Lee got some space, and it's the... In lane jump shot, just like a little thing like running and moving without the ball mm -hmm. is such an important thing. And then another one of those guys in lane strong and tags off the bounce, Lee. Let's see what they got here. They got a little bit of a uh, boxing one. No, straight up man. Anya works on hood. Good fake. They are trying to take Anya with the dribble. Travel. And that was sort of an ankle turn over there. Warren struggling to come down. Traveling violation, Monday on the Late Show. Dave's got Oscar nominee, Julia Roberts, plus the top ten. Followed by the Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. It's Monday, only CBS. Dawkins is in. Jefferson, Hood, Hairston comes in the contest. So Parker will take a breather and inbounding Quinn Cook. Starts out at 2-3, looking to match up. Danger lurking in the back line. Cook. And saved by T.J. Warren. Playing back home. He's right from Durham. Lee the three. Inside it. Yeah, sure yeah. was. Washington trying to do some damage in there. Gets a bow. It's been a while since North Carolina State has won in this building against a Duke team coached by Mike Krzyzewski. Back in 1988, February 6th, Warren. A lot of traffic here. Rebound by Jefferson. A lot of teams can say that, Kevin. Yes, they can. <laughs> it's, it's an atmosphere. It's a level that you've got to match. And how about this? I mean, you can't leave him like that. There's the doing a good job on that glass for this team. Wow. Tardy covering. Got to get down and compete. 16-point lead. Oh. And we got some words after Anya. And Dawkins. I'm on Anya's side. Who do you have? <laughs> there we go. Big arm, big bear hog around the back there of Quinn Cook. A little lucky pair, but uh, right now the car, they're just not giving anything easy. And boy, that is a lot of weight airborne. And then a little smile. By Cook. He played at DeMatha in the D.C. area in Maryland, and Anya was a two-time state champion in Maryland. One of the top high school players. Well, he he's got a big upside. Mm -hmm, yeah. And uh, he's taken a while to get himself in the kind of condition you have to be to play at this level. He's now 8 of 14 from the free throw line as North Carolina State is a team, 3 of 9. He's an offensive glass guy. Obviously, can screen well. Tough to get around. Carves area. There was a nice seven-game winning streak for State during this season with their biggest win, January 7th, against Notre Dame. Mm -hmm. Terrific on the road, too. Yes. And that's where Duke lost. And when you're young and you're putting parts together, it takes a while. Good job. Jefferson knows his game, this kid. A lot of guys would have shot that knowing that that's not your greatest strength, but putting it on the deck and being available. And then the belly bump as he gets to the rim. <laughs> How about this one? Whew. Mom, that hurts. Yeah. Like we mentioned before, first career double-double the other night against UVA with the 10 points and 15 boards. He's from Philadelphia. Two-time State of Pennsylvania. High School Player of the Year. Neil Jefferson. Struggles from that line, but can make some timely ones. The 42% from the yeah. stripe, you're right. 
Under 13 to play here in the second half from Cameron Indoor. Up next, KU against Oklahoma State. Lee strips Tyler Thornton. Right in the rim. And right cross here. court. Look at this coverage. You Don't just can't go. handle it. How about that? How about that? You can't shut the water off all over. Wonderful Two rhythm. Huh? Mm. Wonderful rhythm. Gorgeous basketball. Oh. Biggest lead for Duke at 21. Turner left it. Numbers. Here we go. Good hustle. It was nice by Desmond Lee. Didn't give up on the play. Shown some involvement. Boy, they are stripping with regularity. Great hands and then the run out. Just can't cover it all. Ooh. The spread. They do that in the half court too. They used to use that high ball screen. Put two in each corner, one in each corner. And just pick your poison. We talked about a statistic that's eye popping. Here's a three. Dawkins. Inside Warren. Points off turnovers. Duke 31 to 2. 31 to 2. Tough to overcome. Nice shake and move. Barber. And that's a Duke foul going on Josh Hairston. Blue Devils on top. They began AC and C. Working one and two. Looking for the third win. Some of those names are great, though. Huh? Mm -hmm. Batty A up in there, Hurley. Oh, my gosh. So, Ferry and Danny Lee. Furry, yeah. Dawkins. You know, Dawkins it. was maybe the first big recruit that he was. Coach K got. Well, Jay Billis says no, he was. <laughs> well, yeah, no, Mark he Gallery was involved <laughs> as well. But uh, you're right, Johnny. People forget the speed and dexterity he possessed, knowledge of the game. Just kind of ran into him early in the year in Stanford. And, Doing a heck of a job there. Hood is back out there. Here's Parker back on the floor. Jefferson down low. Far side, they got Dawkins. And on top there, Quinn Cook. That's the Blue Devil Five. Lee and Barber. The tip of the defense for State. Jefferson. Nice. Oh, nice pass indeed. And Jefferson, whatever you need. Uh, this kid really showing what a role player can do. Know your game. Find your fame as well. Parker's got 21. Austin Turner pulled the string a little. Lee, oh, nice look away. Anya digging, finding. Once he turns, forget about it. <laughs> Call for some assistance. <laughs> Is down low and Barber providing the D outside Buckins. How about that? Sidestep the challenge. Boy, what an advantage they will have as this year progresses the way he's coming around. He's got three triples this afternoon, 11 points. And TJ Warren sliding off that baseline. Warren's put in 16. Yeah, a little three quarter now, change the look. They don't, they can't match baskets. They gotta stop, get some stops. Here's Jefferson himself taking it in with a state foul. With uh, about 10 to play coming up next, Marcus Smart and the Cowboys battle Andrew Wiggins and the Jayhawks in a Big 12 showdown right here on the road to the Final Four, CBS Sports. Anya picks up his fourth personal foul at the free throw line once again. That should Emil be old Jefferson. Yeah, Kansas Oklahoma State. I like, I'm looking forward to that one. Chris Brown, the ability to make shots outside. Marcus Smart, maybe the premier point guard. A lot of good ones. He's a good head of the last year, decided to stay, which is terrific. Mm -hmm. And Kansas sort of finding their way, aren't they? They are now. Yeah. They've, uh, they had the big win at Iowa State. Which is a tough place for Fred Hoiberg up in names, doing a wonderful job with that. Defeated prior to that. Yes. Yeah. Kristen, once you get into the league, too, the, you know, Duke played a great preseason schedule, pre league schedule, Kansas does. They play a lot of good people. It only gets you better. It's Warren again, doubled. Terrific job he's been doing. Emil, the real deal. He's got seven rebounds. 
understands his off offensive ability. Parker in Washington, Vandenberg and Jefferson. Screen by Jefferson and over Vandenberg. The shot by Cook, the pick up by Barber. Looking to the side, Warren is there. Fouled on the play by Andre Dawkins. I wonder how many coaches, Bill, when they get these great high school kids. And here are two programs that have really been reeling in some top-notch high school, American high school players. Coach K, of course, certainly got it for a long time. But how much sometimes they've got to defer to what the kid can do better as opposed to maybe the style that they, as a coach, feel more comfortable with? Well, I think the better the coach, the longer you're around. They adjust to you a little bit. But, no, there's certain things kids can do that open your eyes as well. And that, that's exactly what Mike was alluding to earlier today. They've got to find a way to... Make sure that Jabari gets the opportunity in spots he can do some damage. Well, the, the good coaches always conform to what they've mm -hmm. got, asking what can't they do, but what right. can they do. Well, also, they want to make them as good as they can become, thinking of their future, believe it or not, particularly programs like this. Duke is shooting 46%. State, 48 yeah, that's a big show, Vandenberg. And I think you've got to do that when Jefferson screens. <laughs> Power personified. Well, they're getting him close to the rim, and he is prospered. He's got 23, but he's also hit some outside shots, mm -hmm. too. Nice game all over the floor for Jabari Parker. Washington inside. Can't get it to go. It's picked up by Jefferson. Players on the wings. Look at this spread. Thornton. Oh, <laughs> Transition threes, my goodness. Can't cover the ball. Mm. Nice back door. Another turnover. <laughs> Fans are camping outside Cameron, as you all know, in Krzyzewskiville. Little patch of grass just outside the building. And that's what the problem. Is. That's the problem. Jefferson gets involved in anything. You help a little bit. He's smart. Slips. And then the acknowledgement. I mentioned earlier, Suleiman, who had the assist on that play, had the game-winning three. 22 seconds left against UVA Monday. Warren with a floater. Now, this is when Mike starts to use a lot of clock unless you've got something really good early. Shorten the game. Two, two and two in the ACC. Ten and zero oh at home overall. Oh, shooting the ducks in too easy. Tyler Thornton, one of the captains on Duke. Barber, Washington, Parker aggressively grabbing the rebound. He's lassoed eight. He's nearing a double-double. He's had four. Jabari Parker's had four double-doubles this season already. Six and a half to go. This is when they toy with you. Suleiman. Wow. Beach outside. We're putting on the deck. A lot of things. Suleiman playing really good basketball right now. Let the puppies organize it. Look at this reaction. You think he wants his team to get better? Down and dirty with the fist pump. When I get to his age, I hope I have that kind of fire. <laughs> I got to check my math here just a second. 629 to 40. 897 wins at Duke for Coach K. That's at one school. Jim Beheim at Syracuse, number one. With that many wins, he's got 934. At Syracuse, but if he wins today, Coach Kale win his 200th game here at Cameron Indoor. Amazing run. Yeah, the numbers are staggering. It's Lewis for three. And off the fingertips of Hairston. No, they're going to say it's off of Washington of North Carolina State. Vandenberg was down there too. They thought they would get more from inside. There's 
A little memento. He's had a few of those. Court in his honor back there. I've got a room named after me. Do you? Yeah. Is there a bathroom? No? It's on the turnpike. Oh, okay. <laughs> Lounge area. <laughs> <laughs> Under six to go. Tate, as well as everybody has played, Suleiman included. Parker, and how about Hairston? They don't the second block out. Yep, second it. one. He was a tip before, Kev. That's Josh Hairston. Then he had to finish the thought. Jefferson has been exceptional, oh, I think. Oh. Yeah. Like, like he was on Monday. Mm -hmm. You're right. No. Nice drop. Good spin. Warren. T.J. Warren's got 21. Coming back home to play. Warren has scored 21 or more points in now 14 of State's 18 games. So he has been pretty singular in that category. They need more scoring on this. Every trip will be under 10, roughly. This is Suleiman. Good screen by Hurston, opening the door for the three. Oh, yeah. Yep, you're right. Well, tomorrow, NFL on CBS shows off the dream matchup with two legends, Tom Brady leading the Patriots, Peyton Manning, and the Broncos in the AFC Championship game. It all begins with JV and company on the NFL Today, presented by Southwest Airlines. More people watched NFL games on CBS than any other network. Three coming up for Suleiman. Well, who do you like, Bill? Oh, don't put me on the spot. You, on. you know better than I do. I'm just looking. At, everybody I've talked to wants to see this game. I don't know. Uh, Manning out there, maybe, maybe it's his turn. Well, if Manning, the 37, would win, and if they would go to the Super Bowl, and if the Broncos would win, he'd do something no other quarterback has done. Won a Super Bowl with two different teams. Mm -hmm. And if Brady goes and he wins, Brady would win his fourth Super Bowl, which would tie Bradshaw, Montana. He's already up there on the Mount Rushmore, the quarterbacks with all those, all those rings. But boy, it's going to be a great day. Be. Great Have game fun. for CBS. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to it. Nice appreciation there for Parker going out of the game. They're pretty deep. Yeah, I would say so. Don't, don't step back. On the floor now is Ojale, the freshman from Ottawa, Kansas. He was a parade national player of the year. Out there for Duke. Thornton remains on the floor. Suleiman is dancing with Lee. Hairston is on the wing. And another freshman, Matt Jones, who starts today. Second career start. He's on the floor. That's the double five. Here's Barbara and Lee out there for North Carolina State. Washington, Lewis. And T.J. Warren. That's the five out there for State. 407 to play. Now you mentioned the credentials of the Duke players. Everybody's got to have a resume that knocks your eyes out. I mean, every kid on here, mm -hmm. every kid, one kid's, most of them are, are players of the year in their individual state. Then they get the McDonald's and the, the rivals and the parade decorations. I mean, it just goes on and on. Yeah, they're in the hunt with every good kid. And when you visit this campus and see the atmosphere, it doesn't hurt, as they say. I sense, though, more, Bill, that head coaches, and not that they slapped off recruiting, but it's never been more important now. Suleiman takes it in. Harrison tried to slam it. I, I don't know if it's ever been more important. Here they go Lee at the other end, and finally finding the 5'11", Tyler Lewis. It's never been more important for these kids to see the head coach in their living room. Before you could send assistance, and maybe the head coach might close the deal. Now I think the head coach has got to be out there as much as ever. Well, that's really changes. When I was coaching, if I sent the assistance, we had a shot. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? The, the, the number of people they go after is, is much smaller, believe right. it or not. I mean, there's a, the top of the mark, so to speak, is who they're dealing with. But well, kids want to be loved. Identify the kids and... And they move in, I'm sure. Nice flip around. Yeah, Jones caught it, and Suleiman has had a couple of very sweet assists this afternoon. He's really rounding into form, playing with a lot more confidence. Barber, the stretchy move, and they got him up high with a Hairston defense, and Barber's down. With 2.48 to play in Durham, it's been all Duke. 
Well, today CBS is taking you from Rupp Arena to Cameron Indoor to Allen Fieldhouse. Coming up next, Oklahoma State and KU from Lawrence. 4.15 Eastern tip on that one. It's a great day of basketball. If you like college basketball, watch Kentucky, watch Duke, and watch Kansas in one day. That's, that's a pretty good day. Great day. There's no question about it. Heating up, getting ready for March. Duke's biggest win over North Carolina State ever. 39 points, 99-60. It was here back in 1967, late January. Now you mentioned those big names. I was at Arizona the other night, and they are really impressive. In the next couple of months, a lot of these teams are going to get better as well. Duke being one of them. I mentioned Kansas coming along a little bit in their conference. How do you like their freshman at Arizona? Good. Well, special. Yeah. Great motor. Never stops. Suleiman. Plumley with a nice screen to let him get to the tent. Approaching to the point. I'm sure Mark Godfrey can't wait to get back to the gym and go over something, that's particularly the quick, anxious play early that got him in this kind of a hole and valuing the ball. Know when somebody attacks you, and they got a big turnaround with Merlin on Monday. That's right. And well, they got a couple freshmen out there right now, North Carolina State does. And a couple sophomores. A little bit of the Dean Smith four corner. Did I say that name in this building? You can. Sacrilegious. Love the guy, though. A lot of innovations in basketball. Lee is a junior college transfer for North Carolina State. He's out there his first year in the ACC. Off balance, Suleiman. And off of Plumley and picked up by State. And now they bring in some others off the bench. Zaporowski, a senior from Lake Forest, Illinois, will come in. He's played in 19 games in his career, and the crowd is as loud <laughs> for him coming in as anybody. That's got to be a Chris Collins oh, recruit, don't you think? That might be, yeah. Uh, Lake Forest. Chris now at the Northwestern, a big win over yeah. Illinois the other day. Good for him. Yes. Great kid. He's going to build that Northwestern program. He sure will. Yeah. Yeah. Left his buddy Wojo here. Yep. Now the associate head coach, right? Jeff Capel, Nate James. Good and John Shire yes. back helping out. He was a Chris Collins recruit out of Chicago. Yeah. Had a great run for the championship. Played that point guard position. Adjusted his game. Beaujolais diving inside. Horn got a piece of him as he comes in there. And so after the game, this final here, it'll be the 14th win for Duke. They'll move up to three and two after starting one and two. Worst starting conference play in seven years, but they've rebounded, they've changed, they've so talk to Mike Krzyzewski, more of an emotion offense. They go to a, a much more deeper on the bench, bringing off five more guys. Paliuka, Paliuka will come in now. Nick Paliuka, who is from Weston, Massachusetts, his dad is the co-owner of the Boston Celtics. Gets good seats. Saw a championship. Yes, he does. Mr. Paliuk is always there on the baseline at the Garden watching in Boston. I'm sure he's watching his son here play on CBS. Loves Duke, too. Final 20 seconds. That's going to be a 33-point game right now as Warren reaches in 15.7. Duke has now held eight of the last ten opponents under 70 points. Seven straight at home. And it will be win number 200 at Cameron Indoor Stadium for Mike Krzyzewski. Coming up next, Oklahoma State and Kansas. You'll see the third of what has been a great freshman class. You watch Julius Randle in game one. Wonderful performance this afternoon here in Durham by Jabari Parker. And coming up, Andrew Wiggins. But it's the Embiid kid that has got people... Everybody raves yes. about him. Wow. The senior big for Kansas. Upside. Big future. And certainly smart for Oklahoma State. That'll be a good one. This was all Duke. A 35-point win. 
Coach K, win number 971. Enjoyed it, Bill. Uh, fun game. Final in Durham, Duke. 95, North Carolina State, 60. Coming up, the final game of our triple header as Oklahoma State will take on Kansas.